it's news time. Be current. Information is power. Former presidential aide Renu Mokri says Buhari planning to declare state of emergency in Southeast. The news in full. Former presidential aide Renu Mokri has stated that President Muhammad Buhari is planning to declare a state of emergency in the southeastern part of the country. The development, if true, is most likely due to the recent high-profile murders occurring in the region with the latest being the assassination of Mr. Chike Akunyili, husband to the late Navdak DG Dora Akunyili. Omokri, in a tweet on Wednesday, disclosed that news from sources in Asurok is that General Muhammad Buhari is thinking of declaring a state of emergency in the southeast. Let the man whose trousers never reach the floor be warned. Emergency in the southeast and business, as usual, is the not in the northeast and northwest will ignite crisis in Nigeria. Similarly, one is the Indigo Worldwide, an apex Igbo organization, while reacting to Akunyili's murder, revealed that the federal government may indeed declare a state of emergency in the region. The southeast has been plagued with several pockets of insecurity and violence following the detention of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP in Namdekanu. The group had ordered a seat at home uh, every Monday until Kanu is released. And the militia arm of the proscribed group, the Eastern Security Network, has been attacking innocent individuals who violate the order. Several shops and vehicles have been burnt, people beaten and killed allegedly by members of the group for disobeying the directives. However, the indigenous people of Biafra has been debunking themselves from being uh, perpetrators of this evil act. And this is Reno Mokri saying that President Muhammad Buhari is trying to declare a state of emergency in the southeastern part of the country following the death of the assassination of Mr. Chike Akunyili, who is the husband to lead uh, Navdak uh, DG Dora Akunli, the husband to the uh, late Navdak DG Dora Akunli, who is a widower, Chike, and seven others have been killed in Anambra. Dr. Chike Akunyili, a widower of the late Director General of the National uh, Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, Navdak, that is Dora Akunyili, has been killed by gunmen at Unpo in the Indemili North local government area of Anambra State. Seven other persons were also killed in the incident, yet to be confirmed, reports alleged. The incident reportedly happened on Monday evening, and the correspondent of the punch gathered that Dr. Akunyili was returning from his trip to Onicha, where he had gone to obtain a posthumous award of excellence for his late wife when he ran into the hoodlums at Unpo and was shot and killed. The hoodlums, it was gathered, were chanting no election in Anambra in November. The state police public relations officer, Ikenga Tochuku, could not confirm the report, noting that he had yet to get the details of the incident. And the correspondent of the report reports that the Agulu community, where Akunyilis hailed from, is mourning, adding that, however, that nobody is ready to talk to the press. A former vice president of Agulu community, who is also a retired information officer with the Federal Ministry of Information, confirmed the incident to the correspondent of the punch on telephone, but asked for publications to delay, uh, to be delayed without giving reasons. The Anambra State Commissioner for Information also confirmed the incident, but asked to be given time to obtain clearance to discuss the issue. And this is the case. And uh, as a result of this, uh, you know, there has been cases about the gubernatorial election that was to be taking place uh, in Anambra State, where the indigenous people of Biafra and um, some others had actually said that there will be no election, that there should be no election uh, in, in Anambra State, saying that nothing, uh, that, and um, you know, the gubernatorial aspirant had actually be uh, begging the indigenous pe pe people of, uh, of, of Biafra that they should be uh, that they should not actually do that that they should please allow uh, uh, you know elections to take place so that there can be uh, 
equity and they can be justif uh, justification of uh, the ills going on and the maladministration going on in Anambra State. But the indigenous people of Biafra uh, actually seems not to agree with what is actually uh, being said by uh, this gubernatorial aspirant saying that regardless of what it is, there should be no election uh, in Anambra State. And just like it has been reported, that the husband of the late Director General of, the, of NAVDAC actually went to collect a posthumous award of his late wife uh, in regard you know, to, her, to her excellence you know, while she was alive. And therefore, on his way back from the award, he was actually uh, you know, relayed by the uh, bandits, uh, unknown gunmen, and he was actually uh, killed. He was shot and killed. And people around the environment are actually mourning him thereby not giving any information yet about what is truly happening. And then this, out of many, because seven others who were killed in Anambra State, is why Reno Mokri had actually said that the President Muhammad Buhari is actually thinking of declaring a state of emergency in the Southeast, saying that, the, if, the, and, uh, saying that if this development is true, then it must be because of the high-profile murders that have been going on uh, in the southeastern region. Amokri was tweeted that let the man whose trousers never reach the floor be warned. And that was because President Muhammad Buhari visited the most states you know, in a trouser that actually spoke out reactions on the social media, saying that uh, the one is the Indigo Youth, uh, Indigo Worldwide 2, while reacting to the Akuni Yili's mother, said that the federal government may indeed you know, declare the state of emergency in the region because the Southeast seems to have been plagued with several pockets of insecurity and violence following the detention of their leader, that is, in Abdekanu, because they had actually said that for, they would be going on a one-month uh, sit-at-home you know, order if uh, their leader was not brought to court on October 24, 2021, which was his trial date. However, also, for October 1st, 2021, which is supposed to be the Independence Day, they had set a sit-at-home order yet again that every... <laughs>